this ANN News Brief. Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari has placed Lagos, Ogun States, and the federal capital territory Abuja on a 14-day lockdown to curb the spread of coronavirus. In a national television address on Sunday, the president said the lockdown was based on advice from the Ministry of Health and the National Center for Disease Control, NCDC. Coronavirus cases rose dramatically in Nigeria last week. By Sunday night, NCDC had reported 111 confirmed cases and one death. Lagos has the highest number of cases, followed by Abuja. In the midst of calls for drastic measures to curb the spread of the disease, the federal government plans to turn a word at the National Hospital in Abuja to an isolation center. Lagos has converted three football stadiums to COVID-19 treatment centers that would provide more than a thousand beds. The current uh, COVID-19 pandemic, a furious terrorist conflict, and a recent kidnapping of a leading opposition politician did not stop Mali from voting on Sunday in a long-delayed parliamentary election. Vote counting is now in progress. Experts say the vote will, could provide a way for a solution to the long-flowing bloodshed in the country. The parliamentary election has been delayed several times since 2018 because of security concerns. The government has said the first coronavirus case confirmed in the country last week would not stop the polls. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Uganda is facing a fuel crisis. Finance Minister Matia Kasega said, told the parliament the country's fuel reserves were drying up as a result of a reduction on its imports through Kenya, brought on by the coronavirus outbreak. He said the pandemic has forced all producers in the Middle East to reduce supply. Kasega said his ministry is discussing the issue with Kenyan authorities and is doing everything possible to ensure the problem of petrol and diesel supply is resolved. For a week now, Uganda-bound trucks and fuel tankers driven by foreigners, including Ugandans, have been denied entry into Kenya, whose borders have been closed as a result of COVID-19 outbreak. That is ANA News Brief at 10. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.